Hi guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. I took a little bit of a break, but I'm back at it. I feel like it's been so long since I made my last video. So, let's just get right to it. A lot of you have been asking me for a prom video and I really want to make one for you guys. So when Shein offered to send me some items again, I thought, oh my gosh, this would be so perfect if I got some prom looks. So that is what I did. I got a lot of special event dresses that are really inexpensive and totally affordable for prom season and up into like wedding season, the summer and everything. But I just got the package today and I know a lot of people's proms are over. So I apologize that this is a little bit late, but Canadian proms haven't really started yet. And I know you guys also wanted some ideas and inspiration for graduation ceremonies and some special events that you may be going to in the spring, summertime. So if you guys have checked out my video on how to shop Chinese wholesale websites, I'll link it down below. One of my rules was not to buy things that were super formal because you'll often end up disappointed. And this is because generally it's a little bit more expensive to produce high quality, more formal things. But I do really believe that you don't have to spend too, too much money to look good um, in formal wear. And I thought it'd be fun to try out a few of the more formal slash dressier pieces from Shein. So without further ado, this is going to be a haul slash a review. I'm going to go from the most casual piece to the dressiest show-stopping piece. And I totally forgot to mention all these looks are actually under $50, which is totally amazing. So I would definitely say this is the most casual. This is definitely something that I would wear even maybe to a graduation, depending on how formal it is, or like a baby shower or something like that. Something not obviously not black tie or anything, but somewhere you definitely need to dress up a little bit. And it is this dress here. Um, I thought it was going to be cotton, but it's actually this like acrylic material and it has all this lace detailing. And the really special thing about this dress is the back. I think the back is just a really pretty like lovely detail. Uh, the silhouette is pretty nice. I got this in a size small, but I think it is a little bit big on me in certain places like the waist and whatnot. Um, I think this would look really good with a pair of espadrilles. Uh, and I also paired it with this straw little clutch that I got. Straw slash rattan is like really, really trendy for the spring summer season. And I thought this would be a nice, sweet little pairing together. So I got two of the same dress, but actually in different colors. So the first one I have here is this blush pink. It's such a pretty blush pink. And this dress has some really pretty like embroidery detailing on it. Um, and then these really thin, delicate straps. This one had really good reviews on the Shein website, which is why I decided to pick it up in both colors. I just didn't know what color would be right for me. But this one is so pretty. I think this is a really flattering color on any skin tone. I love this silhouette as well, the one that nips in a little bit at the waist and goes out. I got this in a size small, but I do feel like there's a little bit of room here. I think this would better fit someone that is around a size four. Um, and there's definitely room in the bust area if you have like bigger boobs than me but yeah I think this is really really pretty which is why I also picked it up in red and I think this is so so stunning it photographs really really beautifully um, this one has a nude underlay versus the pink one has a matching pink underlay but this would look so good with just a pair of nude shoes with your hair kind of wavy and everything I just think it's really really gorgeous and doesn't need a lot of accessorizing or much like that so moving on to these maxi dresses i feel like these are again something you can dress up or dress down um i think this is also a really good option for prom because it's really inexpensive but it looks beautiful so the first one i got here is actually in this orange color um, and it's just this really pretty maxi dress with a plunging neckline. It's kind of made of this like chiffon material, nips in at the waist, and has like an extra sash to put over your waist to just cinch it in a little bit more. Um, the length on this one is pretty good. I am 5'5", and I feel like I wouldn't need to hem it if I wore heels. And then the back just has a really pretty pleated detailing as well. This is super gorgeous on, and I think would look really good with a pair of statement earrings and leaving the chest like totally bare. Um, this is definitely something you would need like pacing for or things like that but it's overall really really comfortable and I just love the way it flows for $22 this is like really really great so I also got it in navy and I think the navy just looks a little bit more formal rather than casual like the orange one and navy is just such a pretty color because it leans on more of like the casual ish side um, it's nice to get it in a darker color because that's what makes it look more formal I think this would look really pretty again with a pair of statement earrings or um, just like a cuff just keeping it really really pretty and simple this would look good with your hair up or your hair down again you can pin it if you want it to be more modest the length is the same as the orange one I would compare this to probably like 
Forever 21 or Zara quality and for $22 like you really can't beat it. So the next dress I have here is a little bit more sexy. This kind of reminds me of the red dress that Bella Hadid wore to cons one year. Um, and it is this slinky pale blush tone number. Um, this was also super inexpensive. I believe it's 20 something dollars as well. It has a really plunging neckline as well as an open back, much like the one Bella Hadid was wearing, um, and also a really high slit. So this is definitely a sexier look. If this is something you're comfortable in um, and fits along with, I guess, your prom dress code, you could definitely wear this to prom. I think it'd be so stunning, um, just totally on its own. Again, with your hair down, I think it would look gorgeous. I also think this is a really pretty like vacation dress if you're vacationing somewhere tropical like Mexico and you're going for a really nice dinner. I think this is also really pretty. Again, looks good with heels as well as flats. I am 5'5", like I said. This dress is definitely longer than the previous two I just showed. Um, I would definitely need to hem this if I'm wearing it to a more formal event. And I said in my videos like I would stay away from satin, but I was really, really impressed with how this looks. I think the fabric is actually really nice. I really hope I have an event soon that where I can wear this to because I just think it's totally gorgeous. So my sister picked this one out and she's a little bit taller than me. So this will probably fit her better than me, but it is just this strapless dress and this is something you could definitely wear to a black tie event. I would say this one probably looks the least expensive compared to the rest of them, but it's again really flattering. You can't go wrong with black. It's just this mermaid um, silhouette and it's strapless. It has these like bardo like looking cups on the front. They're very very padded. I think this is more suited for someone who has a bigger chest than me because I definitely had a lot of room in the top compared to the rest of them. It didn't really hug me in the right places but that could just be because it's a little bit too big for me. I got this in a size small and if I wore it with heels it wouldn't need any hemming. Um, again, it's a really pretty silhouette, but probably um, will look better on someone who fills it out a little bit better than I do. So this is my favorite dress, which is why I saved it the best for last. You may have caught this on my Instagram and my Snapchat because I put it there. And it's just another blush dress, except this is all sequined and it just catches the light so beautifully. I think I've said that so many times in this video, but this is really stunning. I'm actually going to a wedding in July and it's a little bit fancier. So so I'm definitely going to be wearing this. It is beautiful. Um, I just love the way it fits. I got this in a size small and I swear this looks better than the pictures um, that they have on the website. It looks way better in real life. It just cinches in at the waist again, a little bit more A-line and the way it just drapes is beautiful. Again, you have to wear sticky boots or something with this because the back is completely bare and it's also lined inside which is very key when you're wearing sequins because it can get scratchy but this one's actually very comfortable and quite stretchy. If I had to pick from all the dresses, this is the one that I would wear to prom. I love this so much, like I can't even explain it. This was also super inexpensive and of course it'll be linked down below like the rest of the items. So I hope you guys enjoyed my special events review slash haul from Shein. I will link everything in the description box below as well as my sizes, my height, and everything under the sun that you may need to know so definitely check there first. I'll also be trying my best to answer the comments and questions in the down bar below. So these things do take a little bit more time to ship so be mindful of that when you're ordering them for a special event. I would definitely order them well in advance. I think express shipping isn't too too much to Canada I believe and the states so you definitely will want to check their website for any of those kind of details. Let me know which dress was your favorite. You already know which one was mine. If you guys want to see more outfit pictures and whatnot, definitely follow my Instagram because that's where I'll be posting most of them. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will be back soon. Bye guys.